If you ask most people, Lost wasn't just a TV show during its prime. It was a full-blown adventure, like an exhilarating roller coaster ride at Cedar Point. Waiting impatiently for the next episode to drop every week was like that nervous excitement before the roller coaster's first huge drop. <laughs> In the water cooler discussions with my coworkers the next day, we would dissect every detail and revelation in their show, like reliving the ride together. You never asked someone if they were caught up on the show because everybody was. It was a full-blown phenomenon. The cast of characters introduced me to a world of enigmatic histories and really complicated personalities that added layers upon layers upon layers to a story. And yes, while the finale was utterly disappointing, I think Lost pulled off a feat that's tougher for most shows to achieve nowadays, especially in the age of binge-watching and streaming. And upon rewatch, I think it still holds up. Let's dive into a hypothetical scenario for today's video. If we were forced to pick a single character as the most pivotal in the show, who would we pick? Lost was deliberately set up to avoid one person taking the spotlight. The chemistry within the group was what made the show work. But if we had to choose just a single person to encapsulate the show's essence, a blend of mystery, puzzle and tragedy, and an otherworldly concept, who would best personify this? I think the answer is obvious. John Locke. John Locke is the soul of Lost. So what do I mean when I say soul? I don't think defining the word soul is easy. Most people think of accessing your spirit, your ethereal beliefs. It's the sum of who you are. It's just a word that kind of makes sense when you hear it, because we've been told about it since we were little. Things you can't touch, you can't explain. Your beliefs, your faith. I think in respects to a story like Lost's, it's the heart of it all. The direction of the choices and fates of everybody on the island. The embodiment of the show's themes. The spiritual concepts. Inevitability. Purpose. Intertwining destinies. These words describe loss. But these words also describe John. John is an enigmatic, puzzling believer of destiny. All themes that make up Lost's narrative. He's the source of most of the show's conflicts, yet we still find a reason to root for him. He's interesting and always planning something. He makes mistakes many times. He's a leader, but more of a man of faith. Because you're a man of science. Yeah. And what does that make you? Me? Well, I'm a man of faith. He's probably also one of the most sad, tragic characters I've ever seen on a show. He's constantly being kicked down, told he's worthless, and screwed over by those who care about him. Yet somehow, he still believes in people and has a warm, accessible energy. He makes the same bad decisions over and over, yet we still see him as an accessible, wise person. I think most importantly, the reason that John Locke is the soul of Lost is because he's the most inherently human and he finally finds his purpose on the island, it becomes the physical manifestation of it, the manifestation of conflict, right versus wrong. John Locke's character truly captures the heart of Lost, encapsulating its most important ideas within one person. His journey touches on the themes of faith, identity, connections between people, and the balance between destiny and free will. He's such an enigma, when we see him smiling, staring, pondering, we have no idea what his next move will be. And even though he gets people killed and makes awful decisions, we kind of pity him. We know what he's been through. We know why he wants to find his true calling. From the first time we see him being a badass in season one to the last time we see him in season five or season six, however you want to interpret it. He's the show lost in human form.